what's up guys welcome back to my channel is ashley here if you're seeing my face for the first time thank you so much for clicking on my video and please subscribe before you leave so in today's video i want to share with you guys the points that i live by that helps me stay organized that helps me stay more productive and happy and you know i achieve more when i follow this i do not always follow it but when i do i achieve more and before i i came up with this list my life was a mess like i just do things anyhow and at the end of the day i'm exhausted but i realize i've not really achieved much like yes i got things done but not important things i ended up doing less important things and you know do not do the really important ones so i have to do something about the beginning of this year i came up with a list that i try to follow as much as i can and every time i do i'm excited at the end of the day i'm proud of myself at the end of the day so i decided let me share these points with you guys because in no particular order this is what i do sunday is like the best day of the week right so i start by making a to-do list every sunday a weekly to-do list and a daily to-do list like on sunday i'll on my book i write everything on this book when it's full i move on to another one um on sunday i write down everything i want to achieve that week then now try and you know separate it into different days or you know fix it into different days what i'm going to do on monday what i'm going to do on tuesday and like that up until saturday and but there are some things that are consistent i mean i have to take care of nora i have to eat i have to you know some things are consistent i don't fill my book with oh by 9 a.m bath nora by 10 a.m feed her i don't fill my book with that i just write really important things like okay on monday make sure you edit one video on tuesday you read this on on wednesday you cook this on just things like that so yes number one thing i do is to make a to-do list it's it helps me and i can see what is more important and what is less important like everything is important but you know there are some things that it's a must so i can see it when i write when i actually write my thoughts down so yes the first thing i do is to have a to-do list and it's house um responsibilities or house chores into different days I don't know how people do it but i know that there are people that will pick a day mostly saturdays i don't know why okay because we don't work on saturdays mostly saturdays you see people that will wash will clean their house will you know sweep mop dust do everything on one day and cook same day make their hair the same day i don't know how you guys do it like if i try that i'll probably break down even way before I became a wife or a mother i find it difficult to squeeze everything into one day like when I, I had my nine to five if i'm cleaning the entire house this saturday best believe i won't wash till the next day sunday because i cannot do everything one day i cannot come and go and kill myself so i designate house chores into different days by sunday i can to an extent tell what my week is going to be like especially when i ask for my ask my husband what his plan is for the week and all that and i know the things that i need to achieve that week so i decide okay since i'm doing so so and so on monday that is all i'm focusing on on tuesday i would wash on wednesday i will clean the house on thursday i will dust on friday i will do it i just designate everything to different days i don't squeeze everything into one day and it helps me like if no matter the time i wake up there's a probability that by 11 or 12 i am done with the house and i can focus on myself i can focus on my child instead of putting everything into one day and i spend the entire day taking care of the house and i have no time for nora i mean it cannot even work she will not even allow me be by myself more than one hour or even up to one hour so i have to even divide whether i like it or not divide this into different days so that if i can do this one within 45 minutes i'm done and i'm free for her and things like that so yes that helps me a lot another thing i do is to prepare for my day out a day before yeah i try to prepare for my day out a day before if i know okay and that is why impromptu outing doesn't work for me especially now as a mother like what if you if if, if you suddenly ask me to come to so, so place or we suddenly i suddenly have to go out i might forget something really important something nora will need while we're out and that can be a disaster so i want to know that i'm going to go out the next day so that i can prepare for it a day before i can pack her diaper bag i can put everything her bring out what she'll wear bring out her change of clothes 
you know, decide the shoes she'll wear, decide the foods will go out with for her because she will eat while she's out. She doesn't care. The food that she'll eat while she's out. I can, if I'm in the mood, I can also decide what I'll wear. That can be really difficult because my mood determines what I'll wear and I have to be in that mood just before I go out, before I can decide what I'll wear. But yeah, if I can, I also decide what I'll wear and, you know, try and sort it out a night before, you know, just put things in order. So the next morning, my day can start really well. I'll be properly organized and not, <coughs> excuse me, and not waste time unpacking as soon as I get back. I just talked about packing her bag. So when I get back, I try to unpack it immediately. Her bag, my bag. Because if I don't, that means I'm turning it into something I'll, excuse me, into something I'll have to do later, which will take up time. I'm supposed to be using to do something else. Even if there's something else, is just being on Instagram. That is also important. So I try to unpack as soon as I get home, you know, just bring out everything that is in the bag, whatever needs to be disposed or put them back where they're supposed to be and just, you know, get that done with as soon as I come back home. So that also helps. Another thing is I always buy extra of necessities. That is a lifesaver. It is really a lifesaver. No matter what it is, I try to buy extra. If it's her oil, I make sure there's an extra one. If it's her diaper, there's an extra one. If it's wipes, there's an extra one. And even with food, our food, her food, I try to make sure that there's always extra, especially since where I stay, I cannot always find everything, number one. Two, I don't like going out, especially since I'll have to go out with her. It's a lot of work. So I'd rather have everything extra, extra. If I can have two extras, three extras, the better. And, you know, before I get to the last one, I will. That thing is, I'm not afraid to ask for help. I am not afraid to ask for help. If you know me, if you're really close to me, you know that. I do not, I will ask you for help. I cannot come and go and kill myself. No, my, 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 um, motherhood or womanhood is not based on how much I can, <coughs> excuse me, on how much I can achieve. I am not a superhuman. Okay. I am as human as everyone is. So I am always going to ask for help. If I need help with her, if I need help with myself, if I need help with anything in this house, I will ask for help. If I need professional help with cleaning and all that, I will ask for it. If it's something that a friend, a family member can do, I always ask for help. It helps me stay organized. I can't do it all. Power naps. I don't always do this, but every day I'm lucky enough. I call it luck because some days are just somehow. So any day that I am lucky enough, I take power naps. I call them power naps because they give me power like when i wake up it's like <laughs> i can take on the world so yes i try to take power naps as much as possible why i say um i can't always do this is because my day and nora's day are completely different even though we're under the same roof i can bathe her feed her you know finish with morning routine and the time i'm supposed to now take and shower and do something else she's sleeping so by the time I'm done, she's awake, and when she's awake, everybody must be awake. She doesn't care, so I'll be able to do anything. And the next time she's taking a nap, I'm not feeling sleepy again, even though I'm exhausted or it's too late. If I sleep, then I'll have problems sleeping in the night. So some days I'm not lucky, but whenever I am lucky to nap, I don't take it for granted because it helps me. Like I think clearer. When I wake up, I achieve. I do not multitask. Yes, I know they say um, a lady's, um, a woman's superpower is multitasking, and I used to say that a lot, but now um, I don't believe it. I do not believe, it. except the multitasking is I'm doing something on laptop and I'm watching a movie. Yes, maybe that kind of multitasking, but I don't try to. You know, I'm cooking and um, I'm playing. You know spend trying to spend time with nora and cooking at the same time or trying to do an activity with her and cooking at the same time and doing laundry at the same time it cannot work one will suffer and at the end i'll just be really exhausted both physically and mentally and like i said one will suffer so i try not to multitask i'm always present with everything if i'm cooking i'm concentrating on cooking the, the most I can do when I'm cooking is listen to music. The most I can do when I'm doing laundry is listen to music. But I'm not going to do so much at the time. And that is why I try to squeeze in a lot of work when her dad is around. So that as I'm doing that thing, he is with her. I am not cooking and attending to her at the same time. I'm not washing and attending to her at the same time. So yes, I, I, I've cancelled multitasking from my life. Waking up 
way earlier than her can be really hard that's like me waking up 7 a.m and if you know me you know i'm not a morning person so i find that difficult but when i do i achieve a lot like i do it more often now though to be honest but it's hard i'm grumpy i'm cranky and i i look forward to my naps but yes i achieve more when i wake up before i guess tougher things done beginning of the day than towards the end of the day if i decided okay today i'm going to rearrange some things in the house i try to do it first as soon as i wake up you know after my morning prayer after my special really important time with god i try to get that done so that i can get it out of the way and just you know do easier things the rest of the day than to start the day easy then in the middle of the day now be doing something something tough it doesn't work for me that way so i try to do tougher things first and you know spend the rest of the day doing easier things so these are the things that have worked for me thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye